Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Wi-Fi, look for PyStar, click on PyStar, and that's going to connect us to the SkyBridge. You may get an error once in a while that says it can't connect. Just try it again, and it should work. And we may get a login screen is the one that appears here. Click on Configuration, then click Cancel in the top corner. Then click Use Without Internet. Now we're going to go over to Safari, and we're going to type in pi-star.local to pull up the SkyBridge PyStar dashboard. Here we're going to set up our display so we can see our IP address and get ourselves pre-set up for the Wi-Fi on the phone. So first, we're going to take, come up here and we're going to fill out some basic information. Our call sign. And then we're going to put in the frequency, which for the SkyBridge will be 446.550.000. Again, that is 446.550.000. We don't need to worry about longitude and latitude right now, or our town, or our country. We're just working on getting this set up so we can see the SkyBridge screen and see what our IP address is on our mobile hotspot. Now this is specific to the iPhone. And keep in mind, any further support for iPhone related issues must go through Apple. Now we're going to get the message that says modem selection section has been updated. Please reselect your modem from the list. Click close. And we're going to have a new option under general configuration now that lets us pick the modem and radio type. So we're going to click there, and we're going to type Sky, S-K-Y. When we scroll down, we'll see SkyBridge listed. Click Apply Changes, and this will take and reset our modem type to SkyBridge. And then our next option we're going to take and be able to change is the display settings for the screen on our SkyBridge. With that set up, we'll be able to go in and see our IP address. So for MMDVM display type, we're going to choose Nextian. For the port, we're going to choose Modem. And for the Nextian layout, we're going to choose ON7LDSL3. Apply changes, and you should see your SkyBridge screen come to life. It won't have all of your correct information in it yet, but we can get to that later. So this will reload the configuration page and you should be able to see the WLAN underscore AP access point on the SkyBridge now with the IP address of 192.168.50.1. So now we're actually going to take and go down to our wireless configuration and we're going to click configure Wi-Fi. So scroll the screen down on your phone, pinch to zoom and click configure Wi-Fi and we're going to click add network. As you can tell I've already got it added on mine already but we're going to go back and add it again for this demonstration. Your SSID is your Wi-Fi name. So if you go back to settings you can see that your Wi-Fi name is going to be listed underneath Allow Others to Join. Now, on the iPhone, it's going to try and get you to put in a very long password. Make sure that you choose Other for the password and put in your own Wi-Fi password. Click Save and Connect and never for this website when it pops up, asking you if you want to save the password. Make sure you click never. Now we're going to go back up to the top of the screen, go over to power, click power, 
and we're going to shut down the sky bridge. Click OK. And next, we're going to go over to our settings screen for the sky bridge, or excuse me, for the phone. And we're going to go back to settings, go down to personal hotspot, and we're going to make sure that maximize compatibility is turned on if we have that option, and turn allow others to join on. And if you want to see what your Wi Fi name is, look underneath where the Wi Fi password is. It says allow others users or devices not signed into iCloud to look for your shared network. And the next thing you'll see in parentheses is your Wi-Fi name. You can change that under settings, general, and about. Under that setting, you'll be able to take and change the Wi-Fi name. I recommend using your call sign for your ham radio license. It makes it easy, something the SkyBridge can see, and takes care of all of it. So now we're going to unplug the sky bridge, count to five, and plug it back in. So one, two, three, four, five. Plug the power back into the sky bridge. And here within a couple of seconds, the sky bridge should boot up. And we should be able to take and type in pi-star.local. And this process for the sky bridge to recognize the personal hotspot usually takes about 45 seconds to about a minute and a half. Now our password is going to be raspberry. R-A-S-P as in Paul. B-E-R-R-Y. And as you can tell, we are now back into the sky bridge and we can click configuration and scroll to the bottom and we can verify that we're connected to the hotspot on our phone. So if we scroll down to the bottom, well actually first we're going to go to DMR mode and turn that on and click apply changes. This will take a moment to refresh. And then we'll have a new option under DMR configuration. We're going to select DMR gateway. Then we're going to click apply changes. This will refresh again. And keep in mind, this is all running off of the iPhone's personal hotspot. So now we go down to DMR configuration, we'll see that we have some extra options. Under general configuration, we need to enter our DMR ID and click apply changes. That's gonna refresh the screen again. And now we can go down to DMR configuration and choose our Brandmeister Master, which for me is 3103, United States. And then I'm going to put in the Brandmeister hotspot security key that you set up in self-care. Then I'm going to select my ESS ID and I'm going to put 01 and then Brandmeister Network Enable. Then I'm going to click Apply Changes. And now, the screen on the SkyBridge will update. And we can click Admin. And that will take us to the main screen on our SkyBridge. Now, mine already has the API key in it for the Brandmeister Manager. That is something that you can set up on your own. But you can see everything is green. So my SkyBridge is now operational. And it's running off of my hotspot for my iPhone.
So there you go.